There was little to celebrate on board when the liner slipped into port. Most of the passengers and crew just weren't in the mood for it. Their voyage was dramatically interrupted when it was announced that their ship had been requisitioned. So, like the camera before her, the QE2 now faces a long absence from the tourist circuit. And her captain had this to say to the troops who'll be joining her. Oh, she's suited all right. I think the troops will enjoy Cunard luxury. And uh, since it is luxury, I'm sure if they're listening now, they'll be delighted. What about the, the morale on board? What's going to happen with the crew? Do they well, want to go? The crew are very willing to go, very willing indeed. In fact, I've had you know, numberless volunteers already. So at daybreak, they began the changeover when the world's most famous passenger liner came under the orders of the Ministry of Defence. Not that it was immediately noticeable, the breakfast wasn't disturbed, and the crew, many of whom want to go, had plenty to think about on reading the newspapers. Off came the passengers, to be replaced soon by 3,000 troops. Quite a lot of the crew were very, very worried about it. Obviously family people uh, who suddenly found themselves in what they called a war situation were uh, quite distressed, really. And among the Americans, the actor who plays J.R. in Dallas. Well, I'm pro-British. Of course I'm pro-British. I, I lived here for five years. Yeah, this is home to me. I'm a bit of shock that two countries should not be able to, to settle their differences, you know. The QE2 follows a long and distinguished line of queens going to war, but she is expensive, £150,000 a day, 